All right, I'm Elle, and I... Why am I on the side? And I am the Sussman Rick Sussman. Don't you worry why you're sitting over on that side. But you are watching The Read Pile. Alright, it's the week of August 13th, and here's some comic book news you can use. Sort of. Actually. Kind of. So, there's been no confirmation on this as of this taping, <laughs> but, but it was leaked and then scrubbed and then never confirmed again that uh, Jason Moma, um, Cal Dothra? No, that's not right. Whatever. The dude from Game of Thrones, who is also Conan, you know, he's got the big and the hair and the, yeah, and the, yeah, and the yeah. guy liner. So, he's probably Aquaman. With no confirmation. Your thoughts? I don't mind seeing in him in, like, something skin tight. I'm cool with that. <laughs> but... I don't think we're really, I mean, we're, we're counting down, they're, they're pushing up the, the date, you know? I mean, I don't think you can really be, you know, joking around. Getting close, we're getting close to it's only having a year. It's either he's in it or he's not. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you're not just, oh, is he going to be? At this oh, point, at this point you're know. filming a cameo, I guess. Me? I, as we know, I'm because still... at, because we, we talked about it on Those Two Jerks, <laughs> um, my other program, hi. Uh, anyway, if he's in the movie, they need to film his shots in a hurry. Yeah. I think the bigger point, though, is why are we still not sure who's in this movie? Like, oh, man. And, and, I, and, and I, think I the, predict. Okay. I predict. Yes, we have a new date. But I predict. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think the bigger news story, more than anything, though, is that people and we're all just sort of everyone on the internet, nerds, non-nerds, all of us in the field are just sort of like, just, just say it already, just say it. Uh, yeah, I know. I, yeah. It's, it's to the point. It's not even exciting anymore. It's just like, are they going to admit it now? No, still nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, your name. Get with it. All right, you ready to do some reviews? Yes, I think that make me happier. <laughs> All right, time for some comic book reviews. And of course, we have to start with Batman. Friend of the show, Scott Snyder, Batman. What? <laughs> All right, so we are at issue 34 and we have been on an incredible journey. The whole Riddler thing, ah, uh, blew my mind. Now, of course, we are all recovering from this. And there is going to be the quiet issues. This is one of them. Not disappointing. Good. But it wasn't that ongoing, ugh, that we were experiencing. Totally fine. I know Snyder is going to bring her right back. We're fine. We'll be good. But, I do need to have a moment to discuss Batgirl. Also, issue 34. Gail Simone, your last issue with Batgirl. I just want to take a moment. There's not a lot to really talk about in this issue. It is a goodbye issue. It's clearly a goodbye issue. Uh, we wrap things up very quickly for Nightfall. And uh, you could tell that there were some sappy moments of just bringing things together. And, um, you know, I just want to say that, Gail, you know how to write Barbara Gordon. You know how to write Batgirl. You did an amazing job. And I hope someday you'll come back and write her some more. I'm not going to give up. I'm always going to read Batgirl. You can't stop that. The character alone is just amazing. Uh, it's going to be really hard for someone to mess that up, but Gail, you had it down perfect, and I really do hope that you return. Friend of the show, Gail Simone. And we are going to move along to Harley Quinn. Harley! Ah! Oh my gosh. 
So it's it's always funny. I say it every single time I ever talk about Harley. Yes, it's always funny. It's always hilarious. She's always just doing ridiculous things, no matter how what what the situation is. You know, uh, she's if she's dealing with a stalker, if she's you know out and about, just doing whatever. It's hilarious outcomes. Uh, now there are some things that are starting to open up, some little like side things that are going on. So she's definitely going to have some issues that she's going to have to deal with. Uh, coming up, uh, but she definitely—it was pretty funny to see some situations that she's gotten into. Uh, just to pique your interest, little girl on girl kissing, uh, with some hilarious outcomes on that. So, you know, check it out. If you're not reading Harley Quinn, I don't know why you're not, and I judge you for that. So, I am going to just move on along to my pick of the week. It'd be pretty obvious if you've seen the things that are out this week and you know the things that I read, you would know that it is Alex and Ada. It's a little late, sorry, but it is my pick of the week. <laughs> and I am just absolutely obsessed with this world. It is amazing. You know, of course we are continuing with their relationship. Yes, it is a relationship. You can see a building. You can see the feelings that they have that are growing between them. And on top of that, all of that, they are having to deal with keeping it under wraps from everybody. Every single person they're ever involved with because the government is really starting to crack down. Uh, and you know, you just, it's so saddening to see what, you know, what Ada has to like go through and has to, to deal with when she's trying to deal with all these new emotions and having to keep them hidden at the same time. So I, I just, every issue is just more and more in depth with everything and it's absolutely amazing and just makes your jaw drop. It's wonderful. But we're going to go ahead and move along and we're going to see what Rick has to say about his read pile this week. Alright Elle, thank you so much for those lovely reviews. I'll be for... <sighs> You're real pretty. <laughs> okay, so uh, my read pile this week is a bit different than normal. I have to shamefully admit that I did not finish I Was the Cat yet. Um, this is an awesome, awesome little graphic novel from Oni Press. Uh, Paul Tobin uh, wrote a fabulous, fabulous novelization of a evil, well, potentially evil cat's life. And this is all of his nine lives, and it was awesome so far. But it's not done, so I cannot give it a proper review. Alright, so let's get started on comic books that I did read! First, Justice League United. Whoop. Justice League United number four, written by Jeff Lemire, whom I've gone over and over with. This is the end of that particular arc of Justice League United, where they come together. There's a lot of uh, good back and forth uh, as normal with Jeff's books. There's a lot of good interplay uh, between characters, and we have the conclusion of the United storyline and where we're going to see the team and why they're based out of Canada and all these other different things, and the newcomers and things like that. Uh, what I thought was most interesting about this particular issue was that, um, aside from poking fun at its own title, um, saying, why would a book ever be called Justice League Canada anyway, which I thought was adorable, was that we really see Stargirl and Supergirl both sort of coming into the team on the same premise, but both also having completely different ideas of what the team is going to be. Um, Stargirl is not a veteran, but in this, you know, continuity that we're in with the 52, Supergirl really is. So she does not really take a lot of gump, uh, and is interested in moving the, uh, the plot along, so to speak, as quickly as possible. Really good issue. If you want to check it out, that is the end of that arc, so the first trade will feature, uh, issues, I guess, 0 through 4, probably. And then, just like every other DC comic in September, it's gonna jump to the Future's End holographic 3D covers of stuff. Well, we'll see what those are when we get there. 
Next up on the agenda is Thunderbolts, issue 29. Uh, that is part three of The Punisher versus The Thunderbolts. And <laughs> if you like action, I got you some action. Um, Frank is literally on the warpath, as I've noted in the last couple of reviews of Thunderbolts. Um, this is not Charles Soule's story, as I've mentioned a couple times, but you know what? I'm starting to not mind. It is a different character slate. It's a different writing group. Um, Acker and Blacker, which uh, is kind of funny. I think both their names are Ben, actually, which is even funnier. But they are writing a very interesting plot here. The idea that the Punisher is just a guy, and he's going up against... You know, Red Hulk, uh, Deadpool, and this issue, Ghost Rider in particular, Elektra, all people who have either been dead before or who are some sort of superpowered individual. He even goes as far as to vanquish one of Ghost Rider's oldest nemeses in order to uh, accomplish getting a really awesome sword. It was cool to see Frank in his most badassery as I've seen him in a long time. Then we get to what a lot of people are saying are the pick of, is the pick of the week this week. And I... Okay. I am going to go with the book that I felt had the best ending? They both left on a really good cliffhanger. They both were really good issues. They both have been featured on this show a hundred times. My pick of the week is not Amazing Spider-Man number five. It was very, 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 very good. It has a really, really, really good cliffhanger. I actually did a micro-review for it on Vine, uh, which I posted earlier today, because the cliffhanger of this issue is so awesome. But it wasn't my pick of the week. I loved the story going on between Silk and Spider-Man, uh, Peter and Silk, and everyone knowing who Peter is and or not knowing who Peter is. I love Black Cat just being like this amazing, badass character now. I like how she's being written. I like it a lot. It just didn't catch me as much as my pick of the week. Which is Sex Criminals! Oh. oh, I love this book. Oh, I love this book. I love John. I love I love everything. I I love I love Kegelface. I love her. She's such a jerk. Oh the 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 room full of sexual uh, innuendos and 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 adult toys and and marital aids and all of it under the guise of superheroics. Oh, I love this book. It's so fun and so silly. And you know what? I I think Spider-Man suffers from one one fault. It comes out too regularly. Like, I'm too used to seeing Dan Slott's name, and thus, when I read an issue of his, I'm like, oh, that was really good. I like Dan Slott. He's a really good writer. Um, when it comes to um, Fraction and, 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 and Chip, whose last name I'm never going to pronounce because I'll never get it right, they only provide me awesome once a month. So because of that, uh, well, in Sex Criminals anyway. So because, I guess it's rarer for me, it's a bigger deal? Either way, it's my pick of the week, and I really loved it, and I think you should check out Sex Criminals if you haven't yet. Thank you. All right, that's the read pile for this week. Rick, who are we thanking? Well, we definitely... Oh. <laughs> so we uh, definitely want to thank all of our new Twitter followers for the week. Another happy Welcome Wednesday to all you guys. We appreciate all the new folks. Thank you so much for following. Uh, we also want to um, give a shout out to our friends over at Mythicon. Uh, we mentioned them uh, last couple of shows. Uh, they are uh, going to be providing Nerd Up Media with an opportunity to venture forth into their awesomeness. Uh, and it is September the 19th is the first day. Um, we need a graphic, L. So... What do you want to do? Uh, I... I wanted to start spawning. We do that all the time. Uh -huh. Alright, alright. But I like it! Go ahead and do it. Just do your thing. Like Just it. do your... do your thing. Can it be sparkly? Do whatever you no, want. I don't know. No, I don't want to spray it. Adam West approves. Aww. So, thank you, Mythicon. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we, of course, mentioned uh, the big news that Gail is no longer on Bad Girl and that uh, we're going to have a new... We, did, you know, we didn't mention this, but there's going to be a new Supergirl team. There's going to be all kinds of shakeups going up at DC and Marvel in the next couple of uh, months. So we should be providing a, a lot of great reviews coming up real soon. Thanks you guys for watching. Oh, what? What? Well, I was gonna say, maybe. <laughs> Can't go a whole show. Alright, thanks guys. We'll see y'all next week.
Okay, go ahead and do it. Uh-huh. All right, three, two. All right, it's a repile for this week. What are you Southern now? What was that? What, the repile for the week. What? Yeah, anyway, so we wanted to thank uh, a few people out there as normal. <laughs> Stupid cat. <laughs> so mean. Dude, cut. Right. Three, two. All right. That's the repile for this week. 